Hey, it's Jordan with Status Coup. Marjorie Taylor Greene says privacy for me and fascism for thee. Now, I don't really tend to get into people's personal lives, but I did find this interesting. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and her husband uh, of nearly 30 years are, are getting divorced. Uh, sorry to hear that. Don't, I don't particularly care uh, that they're getting divorced. Um, you know, it is what it is. But I did find her statement, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, Perry Green, the husband of Congressman Green, filed for divorce on Tuesday. According to court documents obtained by the Daily Beast, the petition stated that the Green's 27-year marriage was irretrievably broken and indicated that the couple who went in college had been separated for some time. Uh, Green motioned to have the divorce filed under seal, arguing that the record will contain sensitive personal and financial information, the public disclosure of which would negatively impact the party's privacy interests. Very interested in that sensitive financial information. Hmm. In a statement through a spokesperson, Green told the Daily Beast, marriage is a wonderful thing and I'm a firm believer in it. Our society is formed by a husband and wife creating a family to nurture and protect. You gotta love her bigoted comments uh, weaved into this statement uh, of a husband and wife. Together, Perry and I formed our family and raised three great kids. He gave me the best job title you could ever earn, mom. I'll always be grateful for how great of a daddy is to our children. This is a private and personal matter, and I ask that the media respect our privacy at this time. Wonderful. Uh, like I said, I don't really care that she's getting divorced, uh, is what it is. But it's very interesting when Republicans, and in this case, uh, a self-described Christian nationalist, I would say a fascist, um, they want privacy for themselves and believe other people should, you know, but bu buzz out, uh, mind your business, buzz off. Uh, but you know, when it comes to women's bodies, uh, gender affirming care and other things that they don't believe in, oh no, we need to pass laws right away. Uh, let's take a look before we get into that at uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, another thing that she believes uh, requires privacy. Uh, this was her protecting your gun rights uh, bill. Uh, Congresswoman Green introduces Gun Owner Privacy Act. This was last year. Uh, today, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Green delivered again for Americans and the Second Amendment by introducing the Gun Owner Privacy Act. This pro-gun legislation ensures that gun ownership is not monitored and logged by the federal government and provides legal recourse by allowing damages to be collected by citizens whose rights have been violated. Yeah, you know, let's just allow the 300 million plus guns, uh, actually, what is it, 400 million plus guns to, you know, kind of just circulate around free. Uh, we don't need any idea where they are, uh, who has them, whether criminals have them. Privacy is the most important thing. So she wants privacy uh, for her divorce. Her husband says the divorce filings with sensitive personal and financial information should be sealed because it's private information. So it seems that she understands the term privacy, might even know how to spell it, and believes in the concept of privacy. But, but, if you're a woman who doesn't want Marjorie Taylor Greene or her soon-to-be ex-husband uh, dictating what you do with your body, uh, that cannot be afforded. Uh, privacy. She said a lot of bad chick things about abortion. Uh, let's just, or excuse me, being pro-life. But uh, let's just look at one of uh, one of them here. And if we really care about women, like like we say we do, then we should be telling women that the best thing they can ever do in their whole life is to be a mother. Mm -hmm. Being a mother is the greatest thing I have ever done in my whole life. No matter what I do my entire life, I will never do anything greater than being a mother. It is a true gift. Whether a pregnancy is planned, whether the baby is born perfectly healthy or not, being a mother is, is life-changing, life-altering, and makes women better people. And, and these abortions, like you just mentioned, these are actually things that can scar your body. They hurt you internally. And they not only that, they scar your soul. And, and women have to live with this. We should care for women, love for women, and, and teach them you know, how to care for themselves. And, and that would be being proud to be a mom. We should teach women how to care for women and how to be proud of being a mom. So Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, presumably doesn't believe women have the right to privacy, which by the way, privacy is enshrined in the constitution. 
Uh, but it's not just her, uh, her hypocrisy uh, and seems to have a double standard when it comes to privacy for her, her ex-husband, uh, gun owners versus women and their reproductive choices. Uh, she also seems to believe that she should have the power to dictate uh, families' decisions on their children uh, in terms of gender-affirming care. Uh, remember, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, put forward a bill uh, to ban gender-affirming care in America. Uh, she went on with fellow white Christian nationalist Tucker Carlson uh, to really show that fight uh, to take away the privacy rights of families, parents with transgender children. So what do you plan to do about this? Well, I find this absolutely appalling, Tucker. And you know, the whole reason why I ran for Congress in the first place is because I'm one of the Americans that are sick and tired of our government allowing the abuse of the American people. But when it comes to gender affirming care, which is really child abuse, this is actually an assault and it's child abuse. And this, this practice should never happen. It's so disgusting and appalling, and it's an embarrassment to our country. You see, I'm one of those that believes the Republican Party is only worth, um, worth being a, a true party, worth deserving of the people's votes if we are willing to stand up and stop horrific things like child abuse and like so-called gender-affirming care, which is really genital mutilation. It, it's puberty blockers that cause chemical castration. Uh, teenage girls actually having their breasts chopped off. Uh, teenage boys being castrated. This needs to be illegal, and I'm introducing a bill called Protect Children's Innocence Act, and it would create a law that would cause it to be a Class C felony for any person involved in so-called gender-affirming care. That means genital mutilation surgery, that means hormones, that means puberty blockers, anything involving any, any youth under the age of 18, because these kids are too young to make these awful decisions that will affect them and will be permanent for the rest of their lives. What's, what's interesting there, on one end, in the uh, abortion clip, she wants to teach women how to be good mothers and give the gift of motherhood to women in terms of if you are a victim of rape, incest, your life's at risk, hey, too bad, we need to uh, teach you the gift of mothership or give you the gift uh, of mothership. But then she wants to put in jail mothers who, along with their spouses and in you know, discussion with their children, decide their child uh, is going to have a gender affirming procedure uh, or transition into a, a different gender. Because to Marjorie Taylor Greene, the gift of mothership includes her dictating to other mothers what decisions they could make for their children. You see how that works? So privacy for her, privacy for me, this is a personal period. Uh, uh, I've been married for 27 years. I'm speaking as her uh, and personal. We need our private uh, time. Uh, the media shouldn't be asking questions. Oh, by the way, uh, the divorce should be sealed because there's personal Pers there's uh, sensitive personal and financial information. Hmm. Per sensitive financial information. Well, you're a public servant. We are technically by law entitled to know what is that financial information. But uh, we need privacy for gun owners, no privacy for women, and no privacy for parents and their children if they make the decision for their children in terms of gender affirming care. We're going to lock you up because we know best, us Christian nationalists. Oh, by the way, of course, she proudly calls herself a Christian nationalist and presumably wants to make the rest of us a country of Christian nationalists. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia has spent much of the summer calling on her fellow Republicans to become the party of Christian nationalism, even selling T-shirts emblazoned with the slogan, Proud Christian Nationalist. Speaking at the Conservative Political Action Conference meeting in Texas, she said the Christian national nationalism label is nothing to be ashamed of and encouraged other members of her party to lean into biblical principles. Hmm. So much for privacy and all that. This is why 
in addition to being very dangerous people. People like Marjorie Taylor Greene are completely full of shit. They don't really have any core principles per se in terms of privacy, uh, in terms of much of anything. Uh, they are, I mean, in Marjorie Taylor, Gre Marjorie Taylor Greene's case, remember, she was on the Q train. She was a QAnon person and had to delete videos of her pushing the QAnon nonsense before she became a congresswoman. So what you see is what you get. But this is absolutely delicious hypocrisy, double standards, and uh, shall we say privacy for me, fascism for thee. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to Status Quo's daily live stream Monday through Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time and Fridays at 4 o'clock Eastern Time.